Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for the week of June 29th. Uh, I'm holding this card up, so let's just kick off the reading. I'm not going to say anything in the beginning here like I normally do. This is the Two of Spades. A bunch of other signs have had this card. Um, and, and like I say, I, you know, I'm always switching my decks. When I do my readings, I, I spread out my cards all the way, and I have multiple copies of the same deck that I use. So when a card like this keeps showing up, I, I often wonder, is there like something in the in the astrology that's causing this or, or what. But this card is a two of spades. It represents problems in your relationships. And they can be small problems. It's like, you know, that's why, like I said, I'm wondering if there's something in the astrology that's causing just a little bit of tension. It's usually nothing major. It can represent a breakup. However, the energy just doesn't feel it just doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel that strong. It just feels like something minor. You know, maybe you're getting a little, you know, you're just butting heads with your partner if you're with somebody. Uh, if you're in a business, this can be a business relationship as well. So maybe you're just not seeing eye to eye this week. I would say the message that I'm getting is that you just, just you know, if, if you're butting heads with somebody this week, just kind of let it, don't feed into it, number one. Don't argue and all those other things that makes it worse. This card just says, let it go, and, and next week will be a new week, and you'll probably totally forget about the situation by next week. It's not going to last at all. Um, you know, and like I said, if it's if it's somebody in your home, this card always says, try to take the high road, and, you know, arguments don't matter. Don't argue with the person. Just let it go, and it'll create a much more harmonious home situation if that's what it happens to involve. Next, you have the Joker. Uh, it's possible that you've had this card before with me. I'm not exactly sure, but this card represents being able to, um, you know, it has a lot of meanings. It's it's the card of the trickster, the Joker, being funny, having a good time this this week, laughing a lot. It can represent all of that, but to me, this card really represents being able to juggle life in general uh, and, and getting into a good flow and, and not being overwhelmed. A lot of people, if they have to handle multiple things at once, like a job, family, bills, and all these other things, they just can't handle it. When this, when you have this energy surrounding you, you can handle pretty much everything. There's nothing that can stop you. You can handle multiple businesses, multiple jobs, plus everything else, and it's easy for you. That's what this energy allows you to do. So I always tell people when they get this card, if you, you know, if you have a job but you're looking to make some side cash. Think about ways to do that. Uh, you know, if you have a job and you've been wanting to take your family uh, to go do something, you'll have the energy and the ability to do that this week. So go for it. Do it. This, Like I say, take advantage of this energy. If you have a business, you should be looking at ways to increase your business, maybe like a, another marketing channel or something along those lines. It's a card of being able to add extra things on and very easily without very much work at all and having it be a success. So like I said, take advantage of it. The next card you have is the two of, um, two of clubs. You know, this card can sometimes represent you feeling like, you know, maybe you've had to battle against life in, in general, like having that feeling kind of like, almost like reminiscing about all the challenges that you've had in the recent past. And it's saying, you know, to just know that you're in a stronger position than you were is really what it's saying. You know, because the more you think about these obstacles, the more you're going to attract new obstacles into your life. So it's saying, you know, you've been through it. You're a lot stronger. You're a lot smarter. This card represents the brain. Don't worry about it. And then finally, you have the Queen of Diamonds, which is a great card to get. It, you know, it represents being able to use your mind to get through things. Um, she's also very CEO-like. You know, the King of Diamonds is like the CEO she is almost a little bit better than the King of Diamonds in a lot of ways. I mean, they both have their strengths and weaknesses, but she uses her intuition more than anything to be successful in whatever it is she attract, you know, attacks, goes after. Um, and unlike the King of Diamonds, she's not necessarily business focused 100 percent this could be anything in your life um and it's saying like to trust your gut in in all your situations that you encounter this week and and that will be the right answer whatever whatever 
things you run into or you know like I said with this guy if you're trying to add something else into your life or you're trying to add something into your business your job your your relationships you trust your gut because that will be the right answer this week so all in all a great week I, you know I think really it's saying don't think too much about the past focus on the positive stuff and, and trust your gut and you'll have a great week this week